And time now for Chief Smith's community update. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Chief. Good to see you. And let's start with the four teens involved in the shooting death of 18-year-old Federico Barca. They had been charged. He was shot and killed uh, last month over THC vaping cartridges. Uh, just a tragic case, and now we know that the three 18-year-olds and a 17-year-old have been officially charged. You know, lives ruined. I mean, their lives, and, and think of the families, too, you know, um, and of obviously the victim. Just a terrible tragedy. And this was a straight-up robbery. They went there with the intent to steal from this kid that, that was uh, selling these vaping cartridges. Just a, just a terrible thing. Message from us is, of course, we got some really good detectives. These guys were in custody in a minute. So uh, that's what happens here in Green Bay. You do something like this, you're going to get caught, and you're going to be held accountable. This is such a sad story. Have you seen how Preble High School is dealing with this, the student population and the parents and everything? Yeah, and the people that I talked to from Preble and the kids that I talked from Preble, I mean, it's just been devastating for their whole class. This was a good kid. This was a, you know, a kid that maybe made a couple of mistakes, but he was a good kid, well-liked, well-respected by everybody. Um, I haven't heard a bad word about him. Uh, okay, and the THC cartridges, that's what this whole dispute was over. Obviously, vaping is picking up a lot in high school, even middle schoolers. And these cartridges, you can flip them right into one of these electronic uh, cigarette devices and you get high from it. So is that a concern for the police department knowing that how easily these kids can get a hold of them and, and puff away at them? It is a concern for us because, you know, obviously it's not good for kids to be doing this. Obviously they could be doing it in school. Uh, there's, they're really difficult to detect. And as we see marijuana legalized in different places around the country, I'm, I'm sure we're going to see more of this stuff coming into Wisconsin. Do you see a lot of them here now or no? Not a, not a terrible bunch. You know, we, this was kind of the first time we really had a brush with any, anything significant with them. But, you know, they're coming and uh, obviously they're already here, but they're going to be coming more and more in the future. All right, let's switch gears now. The Leo Frigo Bridge crash. This is the second major pileup that we've seen in northeast Wisconsin. In just about two weeks, we had the I-41 pileup, just tragic, one person killed. Luckily, no serious injuries on the Leo Frigo Bridge crash, but what's the latest in the investigation right now? Well, yeah, I'm glad I'm not doing this one in <laughs> investigation because it's tough to do. We do have some good video footage so we can tell who did what, and I can tell you what's happening now is People were driving too quickly and following too closely for the conditions. They came over the crest of that bridge. It's a little slippery. Traffic is backed up. And if you see some of the cars on that video, they are flying over the top of that bridge. And there's no way they're going to be able to stop to a car that's, uh, that's parked in front of them. And it was just terrible. Now, we did see also the pileup on I-41 just like a week, week and a half before that. Now, what do you recommend to somebody who comes up to a scene like that? Is there anything they can do? Yeah. Get out of the main thoroughfare traffic, pull your vehicle off. It's very difficult on the bridge because there's not a lot of room, but get ahead of the uh, traffic accident, pull your vehicle off to the right if you can, stop and render aid, call 911, get us out there. And I saw a post from your department's Facebook page. If you are involved in a pileup, a lot of people think you want to get out. No, you want to stay in the car. You're a lot safer inside your car than you are walking on the freeway, yes, sir. All right, good stuff. And, uh, you know, let's talk about, uh, let's see here. Oh, the, the, are there any charges, and when are the cars going to be released? Too. Yeah, right now that's what our, our uh, traffic uh, reconstructionists are doing. They're looking mm -hmm. at the cars, they're looking at what happened, they're looking at the video footage. I'm certain some people are going to be cited. You know, there's one car, one someone in a white car just went flying through the middle of that thing way too fast. So there's going to be some citations issued on the next couple of days. People can start picking up their cars as well. What about car thefts? We're switching gears here. Are you continuing to see it go up as the cold, the bitter cold continues in our area? Check my, uh, my log this morning. Two cars stolen last night, one of them with the keys in them, 400 block of Monroe. We did find that one, get it back. Earlier this week, two high school girls, 14 and 15 years old, find a car running in someone's driveway, <gasps> keys in it, cars on, they take it, they drove, drove it around all day. Look, the only experience these girls had in driving is probably the bumper cars at Bay Beach, and they're Jeez. driving someone's car out there. Jeez, wow. and, and I just, we popped up a graphic, up 28% in 2019 alone, right. Chief, we're only three months into the year. 14 of those, now 15, had the keys in the car, and most of them were running. Don't do it. If you're going to leave your keys in the car and the car running, buy yourself a club or buy yourself a lock for your steering wheel and you'll get to keep your car. I don't want 14 year old girls driving my car around town. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody wants no. to. Uh, it is a serious problem, though. And like you said, Shelly, the cold temperatures we have it this morning, you want to go out there and warm your car up, but.
Buffs are up, so you got to be careful of your, uh, you know, your vehicle. That's right. If you want to keep it, don't leave it running with the keys. And hey, if you got a remote starter, no worries. But if your keys in the car, there's a chance that some kid is going to come and take it and drive your car around all day. You don't. know, I've been listening to you because I would do that a lot. And when you started coming on, you don't do it, don't do it. I'm like, okay, and I haven't. That's yeah. one thing I've stopped yeah. doing. Well, you and everybody else apparently has been doing it. Right? <laughs> so. I know, I'm not anymore. <laughs> I stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> well, take care of your vehicles, everyone. Don't when I'm getting stolen. Yeah. All right, Chief Andrew Smith, this is Community Update. Always good to see you. Thank you, Great sir. Great to be here. Yeah. Welcome. And we Thank got you. to check on this uh, forecast coming up right after this. Stay with us.